What's up guys, Dan here, and today I have a Dawn's Pack Rivals of the Pharaoh booster box opening. So basically, um, I'll be doing a few installments of box openings and tins open, uh, tin openings. Uh, I do have the Mega Tins 2016 and the new Dark Illusion Special Edition along with the uh, previous one which is the Shining Victories to open on camera. And yeah, basically, uh, this is a kind of similar Dawn's Pack set before, like the Millennium Pack and Battle City. Um, it's basically the same thing, 36 packs and 5 cards each pack with a guaranteed rare card, not a guaranteed holo uh, like before I guess. Um, it comes with I believe 6 ultras, 6 supers and 14 rares, I think it is, that's what's in the back. Yeah, uh, no, 10 rares actually, so yeah this set should be relatively easy to get a lot of the stuff. Um, I remember from previous Daughters packs it's been quite easy to get. But without further ado, let's get straight into this. And these packs are absolutely messed up there. So hopefully they didn't damage anything. Um, okay, the first pack. Uh, so we have a Destiny Destiny board. The first one, F. Uh, Silent Small Swordsman level 3. Uh, Swordsman level 5. Dedication through Light and Darkness. And a Thousand Eye Restrict. So... This is now with the Errata, of course, so this is, uh, oh no, sorry, not with the Errata, sorry, this is now, what am I saying, this is not the Errata, this is just um, off the ban list, and that's down to three, which obviously is not very good at all um, at the moment, but yeah, uh, so a lot of the commons there, I think actually a lot of these came from the Legendary decks, so I don't know why it's been reprinted for, it's not really exactly uh, hard to get hold of. Stronghold the Moving Fortress, Spirit Message I, L, Yellow Gadget, and Metal Reflect Slime. So what I gather from this set is not much to get apart from the new stuff, which um, uh, it's, it's just a lot of the hollows, really. Um, there is a competitive card, which is the Lullaby of Obedience, I think, um, and Dark Sanctuary, but apart from that, the rest are pretty much... Uh, pointless. Uh, Red Gadget, Stronghold, Silent Magician level 4, level 7, and Dragon's Mirror. Actually, that's quite a good reprint, I think. It's a decent one. So, yeah, I think a lot of the cards I'll be after for will be obviously the rares and the hollows. Apart from that, the, the rest of the set is pretty much just collector stuff, I guess. Uh, Necroface, Mystical Beast Circuit, Yellow Gadget, Exchange of the Spirit, and a Dragon Shrine. I believe this is really kind of super in the uh, blue eye structure deck, so it's not exactly a great reprint to be honest. Um, anyway, Silent Magician level 4, uh, Message N, Temple of the Kings, Blue Eye Shining Dragon actually, that's quite a, that's a really good common reprint actually, that's a decent one. Um, Dragon Shrine, awesome. I'm not sure if it came out in a previous thing, I'm not sure, I can't, I don't know because I didn't open product from like three or four years ago, so. I'm not too sure if that is the case or not. Uh, Spirit Message A, uh, Dark Necrofear, Green Gadget, Sangan, and a YZ Tank ca uh, Dragon. Dragon, sorry. Um, we already had the XYZ in the previous Daughters Pack, which is Millennium Pack. But uh, yeah. Okay, so far no Hollows, which does seem to be a bit weird considering this is a Daughters Pack. Uh, green Gadget, Red Gadget again. And a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Now, I did think that was going to get a reprint of this. Um, but in rare this time, which is quite cool, I guess. That's yeah, always nice for you to print have, actually, I think. Uh, considering it's quite... I think it's quite expensive, actually, Blue Eyes Ultimate. Anyway, Exchange of the Spirit, level 8, Fiend Sanctuary, and a Magnet 4. So, yeah, this is the new super rare that comes in the set. Um... I assume it's something to do with the Magnet Warriors, but yeah, it doesn't seem that great of an effect from the look of it. Anyway, uh, on to the next pack. There's actually a lot to get through, I just need to quick this, uh, speed up this video. Necroface, yeah, same stuff. Castle of Dragon Souls, and a Silent Paladin. So, this is one of the Ultras, and I don't believe this was announced, so this is actually really cool to see. Um, I'll have to look into that later, but obviously you can read if you pause the video, the card effect and all. But uh, that's pretty cool, actually. Um, I believe there's Swordsman and Magician in here as well, of the non-level versions. So level 5, L, another Shining Dragon, that's cool. 
Um, and Dragon's Mirror again, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, this set, apart from the collectible stuff, there's not really um, anything too worthwhile, I guess. Uh, Thousand Other Strix, Silver's Cry. Wait, didn't this get a. Uh, this really came out in common, I swear. <laughs> like, a lot of these reprints are, like, really crappy, I think. Um, yeah, I didn't get. I only got a box of this because I just. I really knew the set wasn't really that great, but yeah, some of the stuff is really, really bad. Um, a Dark Magician of Chaos in Rare. Um, although there's, there's Ultra, I think there's an Ultra print of it in the Legendary deck, so it's not exactly, you know, great. <laughs> um, uh, Magician level 4, YZ Dragon Tank, and a Silent Magician, so uh, another Ultra from this set. Yeah, that's cool. The non-level form. I don't know how good these things will be, but um, given the fact that no one else has been using them, I don't think that it's very good either. Uh, YZ Dragon Tank and Silent Swordsman, so all three of them in this set, that's actually quite cool. Hopefully we're ready to get all the Ultras, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Three of the cool Ultras in the set. Uh, level 7, Green Gadget, Castle of the Dragon Souls, of, of, of Dragon Souls. So I think amazing there. I guess the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon reprint is quite cool, actually. Um, Dark Magician of Chaos. Silent Magician again. Okay, another Ultra. Uh, there should be a uh, few more Ultras to get from this set. I mean, I think this Lullaby Obedience is one of them. Blue Eyes Shining. Uh, YZ Dragon Tank. Or uh, Tank Dragon. Yeah. A lot of these were easy to get before anyway, so... Green Gadget... Level 3 Fiend Sanctuary... Okay... Level 3, Bly Shining, Thousand Lives Restrict, and Silent Burning, so another support card for the Silent um, Archetype. Pack. Sangan, uh, Dragon's Mirror again, so we've got like about three of those. But I guess that's expected since there's only ten rares in this set. Should probably at least get three to four of each rare. Uh, level five, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon again, and a Tribute Burial. I'm not sure how good that is. That might be actually quite a decent super from this set. But um, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, Ooh, spirit message I, L, N, and A. Okay, so just need the F. And a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon again. Sweet. It's always nice to get some of those. And coming down to the last, I guess, 12 or so packs. Uh, same again, really. I'm not going to bow. I'm not going to really name anything anymore because this is quite repetitive. Necro I guess, is quite a cool common reprint. Um, that's not that restrict. That's like loads of as well. Level three, Fiend Sanctuary, and another Tribute Burial. Cool, I guess. Um, hopefully, we can get that Lullaby of Obedience. That'd be cool to show off. Um, Metal Reflex Slime. I'm pretty sure we've got all these commons and rares already. Um, Feast, Dragon Master, no, actually that's a, that's a new one, and a Lullaby Obedience, there we go, so this is actually probably one of the sought after cards, because it's got quite a sick effect, I think, definitely one to watch out for, you can take out a lot of the big one of cards, um, I guess Cosmo Dark Destroyer and things like that. Anyway, level 5, level 3, Dark Necrofear, that's such a weird reprint. Um, why is it Tank Dragon? Uh, 
Blight Tabite Tribute, Blue Eye Shining Dragon, and another Dragon Master Knight. That's cool. Um, coming down to the last four or five so packs. Anyway, uh, Blue Eye Shining, Dragon's Mirror again. Oop, I believe we're <laughs> running out of space there. So much, so much cards on the table. Um, Dark Machine of Chaos, and another Lullaby of Obedience. Sweet. So that is our. I think that's six ultras actually, that's pretty sick. Not sure if that's above average or not, but that's pretty awesome. So two lullaby obedience. I don't think we I'm missing still missing two ultras from this set, I believe. Temple of the Kings, a castle of dragon souls, that's cool. So yeah, this box actually probably turned out to be quite good actually. Considering all things. Um Red Gadget, Fazanai Restrict, and a Silent Burning again. Um, don't know if we've got all the supers or not. Message N. No, Fazanai Restrict. I think I've got like about six, seven of those now. <laughs> those things are just so common. So, anyway, two packs uh, left Mystical Beast of Circuit, Silent Magician Level 8, and Castle of Dragon Souls. So, last pack. What can we get? Another Ultra? Another Super? Be pretty sick if we get another Ultra. I think that would be amazing. Um, Necrophir, Fiend Sanctuary, and a Magnet Reverse. So, another, I guess, um, Magnet Warrior support card, I think it is. Hmm. Sweet. So, I guess we'll go through... Some of the hollows actually that we got from this. Uh, let's see. Oh, apologies for that. So, Magnet Reverse, Silent Burning, Lullaby of Obedience twice, uh, Tribute Burial twice, Silent Burning again, Silent Magician, Silent Swordsman, Silent Magician again, Silver's Cry, an unusual reprint, um, Silent Paladin, and a Magnet Force. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 hollows. Actually, it's quite good considering um, the set's actually not that expensive. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe as always. Uh, check out my other videos. I'll actually be also releasing a few more coming in the future, which will be the Dark Illusion Special Edition and Shining Victories, along with the Megatons. And yeah, uh, catch you guys in a future video. Oh, that's not the right ones. There we go, the free silence.